Good morning world, all ready to start the day. Say, where did Tristan go? Tristan, buddy, you look worried. What is it? It's been a whole month since I last saw my family, and now I'm lost. Without a map. Without a phone. I'm scared. Tristan, you can't give up now. Remember, we are buddies, and we always look out for one another. And I really don't want to see my best buddy giving up so soon. Enough of that Jason, I just want to go home. I just want to see my family. But Tristan, we still have so much to do, so much adventures to look forward to. Jason, I'm exhausted, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I'm sweaty, and I've gone a whole week without showering. It's best that we just live separately. Then where am I going to live? Obviously right here. But what if I want to visit you? Maybe you could walk like a normal person. I'm not a human. I'm an alien, says a person who can talk. Wanna hear something? A human and a beast protected me. God almighty Jason. Every day I sit and wonder what goes on inside your clueless mind. My mind is bigger than yours, let's put it that way. Better than having a fake plastic mind like yours. Tristan, don't make me come over there. Don't make me call the police. How about that? No, stop. Oh, would you look at the time? Looks like I better be going. So long, criminal. Tristan, I'm sorry for what I said. Just don't call the police. Too late? See you in jail, Mr. Unlucky. No, oh, 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 oh. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin. You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of everything, yet it doesn't feel like it should. You make me feel kind of wrong. Okay, what's the plan? The plan is that we talk to the boss about his scheme and beg him to let us back. Then while we distract him, we'll try and get to Jason and help find his mother. How would the boss feel though? Dylan, we talked about this. Never mind then. Excuse me guys. Could you let me out of this position? I'm locked here. How is that even possible? He's probably lying. Who said I was ever lying? Just let me out of here and let's be done with this. Who even trapped you here? Marco, my boss. Please tell me he's joking. Dylan, do you know what this means? There are two Jasons. What the heck? No way, it means Jason will become a villain in the future. Come on, just pull me out of here. Unless you're a hero, we're not helping you. Please. See you when you die. Philip, I don't think that's a good idea. This is Jason's future counterpart. So what if Jason gets stuck there as well? If Jason gets stuck here on the moon, then that's all we care about. Now, let's go. Hey, what about me? You're a criminal, and criminals deserve to stay. Now if you'd excuse us we better move along. Goodbye. Tristan. One month. Mom, I'm sorry. Tristan. I was worried sick. I thought you were never going to come back. You never cleaned your room, empty the dishwasher, or ate your dinner. For a whole month. I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Tristan, look at me. I thought I could trust you. We never broke any promises these past 14 years, and I thought I could trust you. 
I let it you drive my car. I gave you money to buy anything you wanted. I let it you use my phone years ago. And I let it you use 15 euros out of my credit card to buy you some games. Then you made me lose hope. You made me realize you're just a child. You proved me wrong because what you did back there was absolutely unnecessary. You could have been attacked. You could have been killed. I could have gone to jail and lose my job as a mother, the one job I always wanted. Tell me, do you think you should have done that? Mom, maybe if you let me talk I could explain. So when we went to the shop for ice cream, I heard this strange noise coming from a forest. It came from this alien who looked like the alien on the news. Aliens aliens aliens, as if they are a good excuse to come up with. Mom, did you even watch the news? Tristan, you have to understand, this whole alien thing is fake, it's just some random theory that some little children came up with, and I thought you were too mature for all that nonsense. Mom, you have to believe me. Everyone in town has been going crazy over this alien, did you even look at the evidence? Tristan, I'm not playing games with you, and all that evidence is just stickers stuck to some photo, just because you pretend to be a child doesn't make you any better. From now on, you will forever be locked in your room, you're only allowed out of your room if you need the toilet or to go to school. Mom, could you just listen to my evidence, and they didn't do anything to deserve this. Tristan, you never stop playing these jokes on me, I'm not falling for it, now go to your room. Mom, stop doing this to me. Tristan, now. <laughs> Stop this at once. This has gone too far. Jason, do you feel any different on the inside? I don't feel a single bit different. And your unfamiliar plot really shows it all. Think about this Jason, do you want to grow up as an apprentice? When have I ever wanted to agree to that? Also, if you're Marco's apprentice, then you can't be me. But Jason, I am you. No you're not. Stop this right now. I've had it with your lies. I thought I could trust you. Face it Jason, you had it coming to you. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Because Jason, this is a trap. A trap. But why are you? Oh Jason, it's only a game. Doesn't feel like it. Now knock it off and let me out of this curse. But Jason, I'm from the future. Lie. You're just one of Marco's apprentices fooling me. You know Jason, sometimes I wonder how you fall for things so easily. Not if my friend has anything to do with it. But Jason, your friend isn't real. This whole world you live in. It's just a phone app. Everybody is fake. None of this is real. Sometimes you really need to move on in life. I, I, I don't understand. What is all this? What is your plan? What kind of universe am I in? Our plan is to delete this universe. To delete this whole software. No. Yes, Jason. That's our plan. Not even your friend can stop Marco's plan. Why would Marco send me here then? Simple answer, Jason. Everyone who is on Earth gets deleted. So I'm in the plot Argon Galaxy. Looks like it. Tristan. I'm sorry. Tristan, you see. Why what? What's up, man? Tristan, are you? Me. Tristan, don't think so. What have you done to Tristan? Jason, it's true. All of this is fake. This is all imaginary. You're officially Marco's future apprentice. I don't understand any of this. Why is any of this happening? What sort of life do I have? Jason, relax. Take a deep breath. No, buzz off. I need nobody's help. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. And I'm going to find out who you are. But Jason, I'm nobody. Like you. Like everyone. Like this universe. Oh go away out of that. I just want to make things right. 
and people like you are making it difficult. I can't save the world, or the universe, because you don't tell me how to make things right. Jason, I'm not telling you, I can't. Why can't you? Because I'm Marco's apprentice. I'm not allowed to spoil his plan. But my future apprentice just spoiled his own plan. So why not you? Listen Jason, there's no conclusion. There isn't. Of course there is. Because all you sad people just want to hide the conclusion. Jason, what are you on about? Hey, you're the one that's so negative all the time. What are you on about? You know what Jason, I quit. I'm done with you. If you think you're so smart go do everything yourself. No stop stop. <laughs> oh, don't cry. <laughs> Tristan, I'm coming up there. What's going on? How did you get here? No time to explain. Now climb through the window with me. Jason, no. Jason, yes. Tristan, you better be in your room. I'm going up there. Tristan, please. I can't. Yes you can. Hurry up. Go on without me. I can't leave the house after going missing for a month. My family doesn't trust me. But I still trust you. And I'm your friend. Now come on. One, two, three. Did I hear a crack in here? No. I'm going to check. No mom. Oh Jesus Christ. Mom, it wasn't me. Sure it wasn't? No mom. Tristan, I can't keep having this conversation with you. You're a teenager now, you have to realize you can't take out your anger towards your surroundings, you're old enough to realize that you can't whine about everything. I don't know if I can trust you anymore. I've had it with your excuses, your anger, and your negative attitude, I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know how to fix you. Mom, please forgive me. Tristan, you're not a baby. In a few years you're going to grow up, you're going to get a job, you're going to have a wife, and you're going to have to tell your own children what's right. Saying sorry doesn't fix anything, it doesn't make you smart, it doesn't make you popular, it's just a word. That window costed more than half of my wallet. Please don't kill me. Oh Tristan, I wouldn't kill you. But honest to God I'm sure your father would kill you. No, don't tell dad. Please no. God no. Sorry Tristan, I have no other choice. <laughs> Hooray, we did it. We survived. High five Tristan. Tristan. Buddy.